What's going on guys, and for this video I am accompanied by Jovan Stojanovic. Um, you've got thousands of followers on Instagram, you've got a YouTube channel, you're basically just an online <laughs> entrepreneur. Um, personal brand's going well, you've got a social media marketing agency, you're actually an ex-dropshipper, um, very successful dropshipper I might add. Where did it all start for you, like do you mind, uh, for the people that don't know exactly who you are, just explain a bit more about, about your story and how you got started. Yeah, for sure. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me here, man. It's cool. You're we welcome. did this uh, back in uh, London. Yeah, uh, we, did. we did our first interview. That was uh, when the roles were a little bit switched. But uh, now it's good to be back, man. Uh, yeah, just a little short uh, about me. Basically, I, I got into internet marketing uh, maybe three years ago, 2016. Started off with um, uh, Facebook advertising for okay. my mom. Did some stuff for her. She's a real estate agent. And then I transitioned into drop shipping. You know, flew to Thailand, lived there for a little bit, um, help, had some help from mentors to develop my drop shipping skills, came back to Canada and, uh, did, you know, after drop shipping now got into social media marketing, yeah. which has been the focus for the past six months or so. And then that's, here we are today, man. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. And my, uh, like my subscribers and followers are actually like really interested in social media marketing. Mm -hmm. And like one of the like most like common questions okay. that I get is actually, how to get started with social media marketing. So mm -hmm. like, what is the very first step that maybe you took or that you would take if you had to start again? Okay, the first step, I think the first step is always outreach. Yeah, okay. I think the first, like the, the maybe not the first step, but your first legitimate goal should be, everything you do should be revolved around getting your first client. Yeah. That's how I see it. Because yeah, until, until you have your first client, you don't have a business, you don't have an agency, you have nothing. Right, and then yeah. you can't, you know, build a personal brand around it. You can't tell your your family that you're doing a business because you don't have your clients. So yeah. everything revolves, in my opinion, around getting that first client. That's okay. what I think. And what are your thoughts on that? Uh, I do agree, and I think that um, like everyone at the start goes through a phase where they just they study it, they try and find as yep. much information as possible. But I think that until you actually like do the outreach, I think like. Everything like building mm -hmm. up to that, you're not actually an uh, agency. Nothing owner. matters until no, that, right? That's it. Like when people ask me like how long you've had the agency for, officially it's 18 months. Yeah. But I didn't start taking action yeah. until like like 12 months ago. Yeah. So like the first six months was just literally trying to study and understand what social media six months, is. Six months, eh? Something like that. Yeah. Six it actually months. took me a very long time yeah. to build up the confidence to do like outreach. Yeah. Like that it took me so long. I tried to find like different ways to do like a passive way of doing outreach. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have to like pick up the phone or do an email, okay. you know, anything like that myself. Yeah. So um, yeah, I do agree with that. Like what you said, like once you do outreach, that's when you actually start mm -hmm. like social media marketing. Yeah. Yeah. And in terms of doing outreach, have you got like a certain way of, of doing it or a certain way that you recommend people starting out to do it? Uh, well, I don't have like a specific because uh, there's so many different ways, man. True. And in the course that we're dropping in about one, two weeks from now, we're literally going through like, a, like I think 10 or 15 different methods of outreach, all of them work. Wow. But what I always tell people is choose two to three methods of outreach yeah. and master those. Yeah. I like choose two, three, learn like the hell out of them, become a master and then like your agency will, it'll pick up. Yeah. Because if you jump from like cold calls to cold emails to then setting up, you know, Facebook messages to DMs, it just, you spread yourself too thin. Yeah. So I would say start with two. Okay. And what, what, what were like the two methods of outreach that you used? Uh, so how we started, Quinton was uh, handling the cold calls. That's how we got our first like three clients probably. And yeah. we literally got them within, yeah, our first three clients we got in the first month. So the first month was cold calls. Yeah. We also had two more clients come in through Upwork actually. Shout out to Brad. Brad Riley. Brad Riley, yeah. great guy. Uh, yeah, his uh, Upwork method also uh, works and uh, that's how we got two, that's how we got our biggest client and then we also got another big one right after that as well. Okay, and like yeah. are they all the same, uh, all in the same industry or just like all spread out? When we first started off, we weren't sure of what niche we were going to do. Yeah. So every client was like in a different space. One was e-commerce, real estate, um, massage therapy, very spread out. Yeah. Uh, now we've obviously focused more on like real estate, so. Okay, I get it. Yeah. So do you, do you think, uh, like what was the reason why you sort of like niche down? Was it just so it's easier to get results or because you think that it's better to get clients if you just stick to one niche? So in my opinion, I think 
you need to find your niche niche or niche as soon as possible and yeah. then like stick to it because a few reasons my my biggest reason for that uh personally is scalability yeah so i want to once again like like picking your the, your method of uh outreach mm -hmm. master it i want to master one niche i want to be the guy or the brand or the company uh, that everyone goes to for marketing in a specific niche so for us now we've done that with real estate like i don't if you tell me you have a client yeah. that wants to work with us and he's a gym owner and he's willing to pay 2500 a month i don't want him you don't want i don't him. want him no wow. like it's not even about the money anymore i just like don't want i it's all because so we have a team right we have systems and we have yeah. vas that we've outsourced the work to you have to train the people yeah okay so when you're doing one niche, you're basically just doing the, the same thing over and oh over for different yeah. businesses, right? When you have a different niche, your, complete, your approach is completely different, all the branding is different, the ads are different, the lead generation, the emails, literally everything is different and mm -hmm. it's impossible to scale. It's much, much harder to scale that yeah, way. Yeah, I agree, definitely. Yeah, so for my thing, for the reason I like to stick to one niche is scalability. Yeah. Yeah. Now with you, you guys don't stick to one niche, right? No, we were very spread out. You're spread out, so that's interesting. So I, I want we should, we should probably mention that as well, because you guys are you guys still were able to scale while being spread out, right? Yeah. So how did you? How does how did that come to? How did you scale that when it's all yeah, spread yeah, out? I what's understand. like what's like the so basically the structure that allowed you to scale? Yeah. So basically, um, got to mention that like our team of like Facebook ad experts, okay. they're not necessarily like VAs. They are like quite high end. Okay. So we sort of like pay more to have someone who's like more knowledgeable mm -hmm. on Facebook ads. Okay. And uh, basically we, we actually consult with it. Like w once we uh, get a client and we understand what, what the goals of our clients, we actually consult with the ad expert. Like what oh. would you do in this situation? Right, right. Like she is like more knowledgeable than us okay. with Facebook ads. And in terms of like any type of management, because we also offer management services. Yeah. Uh, is the majority of your clientele management or Facebook ads? Uh, majority is management. Okay. Yeah, definitely. And we've just got uh, a few, like we've got a few graphic designers and depending on what type of client it is, we'll, you know, pick one of the two free graphic designers. Yeah. So like if it's a bit more high end, where we re really need like high end graphics, then we've mm -hmm. got like graphic designer A. And then if it's more, um, simple ads or if you've got a client that actually provides mm -hmm. us with images then we've got graphic designer B. Okay yeah so you you can like basically you can still scale because like the foundation is there which is like the whole like scheduling the posts and yeah. say it's having them designed right yeah. you have designers already so like for you it doesn't really matter so much what niche it is right? No not really I do think that going forward we might have to like niche down to, yeah. to one because we also want to in terms of branding as well, we'd like to be known as like the number one in like a certain industry. Okay. So cool. that's something we we are going to be testing like going forward. Mm -hmm. But as of now, like we're very spread out and we're basically just taking on as many clients as we possibly can. Right on, man. Yeah, that's but purely because we have like the foundation, the structure in yeah. place that we you know we can we can do that. I love it. Yeah. So in terms of uh, if a client or if if someone wants to get started with social media marketing and they want like the do you, want, do you want like the first few clients? Is like a certain industry or niche you recommend, or do you think it should be um, based on the preferences and like the, the knowledge of that person? So like when you're starting out, um, what was the question? Is there a certain niche they should choose? Yeah, so, yeah. so yeah, when you're starting out, I don't think you should plan too much. Okay. I think like the first month, like actual month, not like the six month, like yeah, yeah, learning yeah. phase. <laughs> I went through that phase too. Like the first actual month, you should just try like, uh, like learn, right? So don't like do like a bunch of research on like which, what's the best niche yeah. and like why it's the best niche. Like just go and like, I would try and get like whatever first client I can get. If, if I had, if I had no experience starting yeah. out. No, I love it. That is good advice. And like, obviously uh, you've got the course coming out very soon. You will explain like, various methods of outreach. Like do you want to, Elaborate more on what's what's coming for outreach. You know, just in general, like the course. The course, yeah. So we are dropping a course, um, it's a thirty day SMMA. Literally, man, the only reason we're making this course, dude, is because so many people have messaged yeah. us saying, "Hey, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this?" Or they'll say, "I got this course, but I still don't know how to do this." Or I bought a course X Y Z, and I still don't know how to run ads. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're literally making a course where it's like the ultimate SMMA course. Like yeah. you will have every, anything you need to know 
about social media marketing will be in this course. Yeah. So it's literally probably going to be like over, I don't know, 10 hours of footage um, and just value packed. And then you can take, like there's going to be 15 methods of outreach, for example, but you should only still, you should only choose two or three, but yeah. it's good to know the rest of them. So. I'd say I love it. So basically you've got like a really broad course, yeah. but you actually recommend like picking, basically you're given all the options and you're telling the yes. person who's doing the course to pick like one or two and go with yes. that. Yes. Yeah. And what we're thinking of doing also is having, so giving everything, but then having like a, a guideline or like an outline yeah. of which, which uh, lessons or like yeah. which videos or segments are more important and like follow like a path ah, kind of yeah. thing. So you can do, do these methods of outreach, do this, do this, do this, but here's all the other information in case you need it in, in the future. In case you need it, yeah. that's it, yeah. yeah. That's sick. And like what, what I love about like, obviously you guys have been telling me like what's gonna be in the course. I've yeah. seen the, I've you've, seen like the outline. You've seen the modules on the wall yeah, and like, everything. There's so much information there mm. that like literally, if so, all someone needs to do is this course. Yeah. And they, they're basically just an expert on social media marketing and they can get started right away. Yeah. But you guys are still only pricing it, uh, like the, the average price of a normal course, even though like this is going to be like the, 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 the granddaddy of all. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the granddaddy. Yeah. yeah, yeah I like that. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah we're just pricing it, uh, whatever, nine ninety seven and call it a day. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. That, but that's obviously because like, You've got the, you know, you've got your own agency, you've got the personal brand yeah. and all that. Like this is literally just to, to help people like, get started, rather than like a make money quick scheme, isn't it? Yeah, like dude, it's literally just like I can't answer any more DMs, yeah. like answering the same questions over and over. So I'd rather just compile it all together. The like the content inside is at least worth like ten thousand dollars. Yeah. The close footage alone is worth at least a thousand dollars. I've seen it, guys. Right? It's worth it. Like, so yeah, that's just p packing all together and that's, that's the course, man. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. And obviously, um, you work together with uh, Quentin Chad, who has been on the channel before, obviously. Quentin. And, um, like, you guys are basically a team. You do stuff together. Yeah. Do you think that you've benefited more from working together as of, like, having an agency on your own? Uh, definitely. Definitely. Because, and, um, yeah, like, 100%. Because I, I originally started the agency by myself. Yeah. Um, my brother was starting his at the same time. He didn't want to work together. He said we should do it separately. And I really wanted a partner. I wanted yeah. a partner with my brother, but he didn't want to do it. So I'm like, oh man, what do I do now? Like, I really don't want to do this by myself. Like, I got to go yeah. through, get clients, all this and that. And then we had that, we had a Gary V event and that's where I met Quinson. He was also getting into it at the same time. And that was like perfect timing. And then we just started working together. Yeah. And it just, it just picked up really quickly. Yeah. And so one of our quotes is like, one plus one equals 10. Yeah, I love it. 11 actually, because it's one plus one equals yeah, 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it, because yeah. like, it, but if it's the same person, I think if, it, if it's the same personality type, like if you were to clone yourself, yeah, right, and work with yourself, I think one plus one would equal two. Yeah. Because you'd have the same skills, everything would be the same. But when it's a different person, right? Yeah. I think the two, like you just, so much more, so That's much faster. It. Yeah, because like, like I, th I feel like you're more the expert on like the back end, the Facebook ads. Yeah and stuff like that. Yeah. And Quentin's like the, the, the loud mouth. Yeah, he's a loud mouth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's Again, a loud mouth. I love it. Do you recommend, um, like obviously people that are starting out, do you recommend them teaming up right away or do you think that's I true? don't, I don't. I think they okay. should do it on their own for a little bit. Yeah. At least, you know, see what you like doing, what you don't like doing, see what you're better at. Maybe, you know, maybe you're really good at cold calls. Yeah. Maybe you don't know that until like you do three, four hours of it, but maybe you end up being really good, right? Yeah. Um, so you should learn, figure out like what you like and what you don't and what your strengths are and then find a partner that can complement your, your weaknesses. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. And, um, like, have you got any other like advice or tips you'd want to give before we wrap this up to like just anyone who's watching this video now that has started, like not even social media, like you, maybe if you want to take it broader, just want to earn money online. I live life on their own terms. Yeah, guys, it's honestly, it's, 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 it's so easy, man. Like it's easy. It really is. Once you figure it out, it's so easy. The yeah. first, the first phase un, un, until you figure it out, man, it's the, it's the worst thing ever, right? Yeah. Cause I'm sure every, every, all of us have gone through it, right? You try everything. Yeah. Nothing seems to be working. You're trying to make money online. Everyone else seems to be making online money online, except you, what are you doing wrong? Yeah. Right, and that can go on for for months. It can go on for a year. It can go on for years. Right. Yeah. But then finally, man, you crack the code, and everything just be, it just, it just you just get it. You yeah. know, and it's just so simple. And once you do once you do it the first time, 
like right now, man, I know I can start like any business I want, man. Yeah. Like if I really put like the work, like I could start a manufacturing company. I could, like I know I could do it That's just it. because I've started so many different things and they've, they've all succeeded to like a certain so degree. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love it. So yeah. just, just keep going. My advice is keep going until you get that first success. And once you do, you'll see after that, everything is so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. I do think like a lot of people, uh, like I was actually going to stop the video there, but I just want to add yeah, on to this. Yeah, please add, yeah. please. So like a lot of people, these sort of like, try and reinvent the wheel, you know, the, the grind, the gears, are trying to figure out like what the secret is. Yes. And I yes. feel like if you really want to know, if you really want to like get started immediately, just invest in, in, in like time with, with someone that is already knowledgeable on the subject. Yes. So for example, get like a coaching call with you yes. and Quentin, you know, buy your, your course or, you know, get some kind of digital product. Yeah. That just gives you that little bit extra information. Yes. Rather than just trying to figure it all out by yourself. Yes. There's no, there's no magic bullet. Like there, there really isn't. No, that's but there, it. but there, but there is golden nuggets though. I will say. Yeah. There is golden I, nuggets. I love the way you just added that. Yeah. After. I was about to say yeah. Like, but know, there is golden nuggets. Yeah. yeah. One, one, one last thing I want to say is uh, what you were saying. Um, there, like people think there's like a secret yeah. that people know that they don't. I had a friend. He, he, he came. He's from India. He came here to meet this, this, this guy has a multi like he, I think their e-commerce store does over 300 million dollars a year oh wow and he went to have a meeting with him he yeah. spent one hour with him and he was going in there um, ex like ready to figure out what that guy knows that he doesn't know that no one else knows right like what is yeah. that thing that why is he at 300 million when he, you know what I mean yeah and he came back the next day and I'm like so dude so like how did it go like what was what was it well, yeah and he's like dude there isn't anything and I'm like what do you mean he's like there's nothing special about him He's yeah. done everything I'm doing. He's just he's just been doing it longer. Yeah. And he said he just thinks bigger. Yeah. It's just th thinking bigger. That that was that was his answer to the 300 million. Is just think bigger. Yeah. Yeah. So think bigger. Crazy. Take action. Yeah. You know, be patient. Yeah. Work hard, and success will come. Yeah. I love it. Hundred percent, man. Yeah. Thank you for having me, man. Yeah. Thanks for being on the channel, guys. I will link uh, Jovan's YouTube channel and his Instagram in the description box down below make sure you subscribe to this channel and obviously if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet make sure you do like this video if you got something out of it and i'll see you guys in the next one gotta do what i gotta do